Ever wondered how to get those professional sliding shots without shelling out thousands on expensive equipment? Well, today's your lucky day. We're going to delve into the world of DIY camera sliders. These innovative tools are a godsend for budget filmmakers who want to up their game without breaking the bank. DIY camera sliders are a brilliant solution that combines cost effectiveness, versatility, and ease of use. You don't need a fat wallet or a team of technicians. With a dash of creativity and a sprinkle of elbow grease, you can create a slider that rivals the pros. You can build it from everyday materials like PVC pipes or even a skateboard. The beauty of these sliders is their flexibility. Adapt them to your unique needs and filming style. So buckle up. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make your own camera slider and start capturing those perfect sliding shots. So, what exactly do you need to make a DIY camera slider? First off, you'll need something for the track. This is where your camera will slide along. PVC pipes are a great option. They're lightweight, durable and cheap. You'll need two pipes, each about three feet long. If you're after a more mobile solution, a skateboard can also work. Just make sure it has a smooth surface for your camera to glide over. Next, you'll need a tripod head. This is what your camera will attach to, and it needs to be sturdy enough to hold your camera securely. A ball head tripod is a good choice because it allows for versatile camera positioning, but any sturdy tripod head will do the job. Now, onto the camera. You can use any camera for this, whether it's a DSLR, a mirrorless camera, or even a smartphone. The key here is to make sure your camera has a tripod mount, as this is how it will attach to the slider. You're also going to need some sort of platform for your camera to sit on as it slides along the track. A small flat piece of wood or plastic will do just fine. This platform will need to have a hole drilled into it where you can attach the tripod head. Then, you'll need a set of wheels or a set of bearings. These will be used to help your camera glide smoothly along the track. Skateboard wheels or rollerblade wheels are a good, budget-friendly option. Lastly, you'll need some basic tools. A drill, a saw, a screwdriver, and a measuring tape are all you'll need to put everything together. To sum it all up, here's the list of materials you'll need. Two three-foot-long PVC pipes or a skateboard, a tripod head, a camera with a tripod mount, a small flat platform, a set of wheels or bearings, and some basic tools. With these items in hand, you're ready to start building your DIY camera slider. Now comes the fun part, constructing your DIY camera slider. Let's kick things off by preparing our materials. You'll need your PVC pipes or skateboard, a drill, and some screws. If you're using PVC pipes, you'll also need a saw to cut them to your desired length. Remember, safety first, so don't forget to put on your safety glasses and gloves before you start sawing. First things first, we're going to cut two lengths of PVC pipe. These will serve as the rails for our slider. Aim for a length that suits your needs, but a good starting point is around one meter. Once you've cut your pipes, sand down the ends to make sure they're smooth and won't snag on anything. Next, we'll create the platform that will hold your camera. If you're using a skateboard, you're in luck, it's already done for you. If you're using PVC pipes, cut a third piece of pipe to the width of your camera. Then, drill holes in both ends and attach it to your rails using screws. Make sure it's nice and tight, but still able to slide smoothly along the rails. Now, let's work on the base. If you're using a skateboard, simply attach a tripod head to the board. If you're using PVC pipes, you'll need to build a base. Cut two more pieces of pipe to the same length as your platform. Attach these to the bottom of your rails, perpendicular to them, creating a sort of H shape. Drill holes through the ends and secure them with screws. Moving on, let's add some feet to our slider. Cut four small pieces of pipe and attach them to the ends of your base. These will help keep your slider steady while you're filming. Almost there. Now let's add a mount for your camera. If you're using a skateboard, you can simply screw a tripod head onto the board. If you're using PVC pipes, drill a hole in the middle of your platform and attach a tripod head there. Make sure it's secure. You don't want your camera sliding off mid-shot. Finally, let's add some finishing touches. Give your slider a coat of paint if you like. Black is a popular choice, as it looks professional and doesn't reflect light. Once the paint is dry, Add some rubber bands to your rails. These will act as brakes, allowing you to control the speed of your slider. And there you have it, your very own DIY camera slider. 
with a little bit of patience and creativity, you've built a tool that can help you achieve smooth, professional-looking shots. Whether you're a budding filmmaker or just someone who enjoys playing around with cameras, this DIY project is a fun and affordable way to enhance your videography skills. So, go forth and create some amazing footage with your new camera slider. Now that you've built your DIY camera slider, how do you use it to get those professional sliding shots? Firstly, you'll need to mount your camera on the slider. The key here is stability. You want your camera to be firmly attached so there's no wobble or shake in your footage. If you're using a skateboard slider, you can simply place the camera on the board and secure it with some heavy-duty tape or a clamp. If you're using the PVC pipe slider, you'll need to attach the camera to a mount that slides along the rails. Either way, ensure your camera is secure before you start your shot. Once your camera is mounted, it's time to position the slider. The placement of the slider is crucial to capturing the right shot. If you want a horizontal sliding shot, place the slider on a flat surface. For a vertical shot, position the slider upright with the camera at the bottom. You can even angle the slider for a diagonal shot. The key is to experiment and find the angle that works best for your scene. Now let's talk about movement. The secret to a professional sliding shot is smooth, controlled movement. Start by placing your hand on the camera or the mount, depending on your slider type. Then, apply a steady, consistent pressure as you slide the camera. Try to avoid sudden starts or stops, as they can make your footage look jerky. Instead, aim for a fluid motion from start to finish. Remember, the speed of your slide can dramatically affect the feel of your shot. A slow slide can create a sense of drama or anticipation, while a fast slide can convey action or excitement. Again, don't be afraid to experiment with different speeds to find what works best for your scene. Lastly, practice makes perfect. The more you practice using your DIY camera slider, the more comfortable you'll become with it. And the more comfortable you are, the more confident and creative you can be with your shots. With these tips, you'll be capturing stunning sliding shots in no time. So there you have it, a cost-effective solution to capturing professional sliding shots. Let's just quickly go over what we've covered in this video. We've looked at the materials you'll need from PVC pipes to a skateboard with a smooth surface. Then we moved on to the actual building process, where we assembled these materials into a fully functional camera slider. And lastly, we dived into how you can use this DIY camera slider to capture those perfect shots. Remember, the beauty of this DIY solution is its cost effectiveness. You're not shelling out big bucks for professional equipment, but you're still able to achieve the same high quality result. Additionally, it's versatile. You can adapt and modify it to suit your specific needs. With your DIY camera slider, you're now equipped to capture those professional sliding shots without breaking the bank. Happy filming!